This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Good evening. We have an update on a story we've been following for the last 24 hours. A southwest Reno neighborhood is still in shock after a man allegedly stabbed and killed his wife last night. Adam Varhajikal spent the day speaking with police and neighbors and joins us now live outside the apartment complex where it all started. Adam, what have you learned? We know police have not released any new details into their investigation tonight, but one neighbor told me she heard some commotion out here and saw two people fighting during that time. And you know, it's a case that was certainly a big shock to this area. My mom was talking to me earlier and she said that now we're going to move because she doesn't feel comfortable with what's happening now. This normally quiet neighborhood has been talking about the case all day. It's a neighborhood where not a lot happens. It's pretty quiet. I feel safe and you know, I still feel safe. It seems like a really focused, um, unfortunate incident. Reno police say 78 year old Daniel Pancake is facing an open murder charge for allegedly stabbing and killing his wife, but are still trying to piece together exactly what happened. Now with another perspective, a neighbor who didn't want to go on camera told me she heard noise outside and saw two dark figures arguing before one of them was knocked to the ground while the other ran off. There was an instigation, more, probably more on his side of it, uh, but there was a physical altercation inside the apartment. The couple's young son was in the home and was the one who had to dial 911 as it was happening. And investigators say he described a domestic dispute between his mom and dad. Officers get in there about three minutes after the call came out, find a male subject out in front of the residence uh, covered in blood. Tonight, the boy remains in custody with Child Protective Services, but his actions serve as a reminder to teach your kids about the importance of what to do in an emergency. I call 911 when there's an emergency. I ran across some kids who say their parents taught them at an early age to grab an adult or call 911 if they see a real incident happening. If you do know and you might think that it's bad, you should as soon as possible. Now, there's still much more about this case that has yet to be unraveled, so we'll be out learning more as it develops and report back to you. Covering the big story live on Plumas Street, Adam Varohachikol, Channel 2 News.